so you are you heading to the tavern then? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, like it's it's not a short it's a very short journey. Sorry, you walk over to the front door and um, it's pretty much just on the hinge. You can just open it up as you go. Uh, and I get to say that Hornhusk, you were you were sort of like at the front of the queue of people who are walking. And just as you sort of walk in, the creak of the door, you see a fox go. <laughs> He's like uh, halfway through a sandwich. <laughs> What's in a sandwich? Um, bologna. Bologna. Wow. Yeah. I like this box. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hello. Um, Are you the innkeep here? No. Uh, <laughs> mm. <coughs> uh, Bodge. Bodge. I, I think you've got you've got some customers. Oh, okay. I straighten up a little because uh, I kind of respect this guy who doesn't know how to sufficiently explain his thinking. He doesn't understand his own thoughts, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> so Bod sort of side is that he's, he's dropped the lever now. He's just got sort of like a... You can tell that he gave up fighting a little while ago. He's been running this this tavern for a bit. You you knew this. Um, and uh, he's just sort of like sidles up to the bar where he's been sort of like putting out a few new ta tankards to sort of set up. He's like, oh, it's you lot, is it? Mm-hmm. Off for a room. drink, are we? Well, more a room, maybe a drink a bit later. You got okay. any spare rooms? I mean, yeah, we've got all the spare rooms. I haven't had a single bit of business since all this kicked off. Mm. How long's it been going on for? Oh, at least a month. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of lost business, man. Yeah. I feel for you, I feel for you. I, I mean, I'd be buying all sorts of things off of you, mate, but I just don't have the coin for it. I completely understand, businessman to businessman. I hope things get better here. You let us know if there's anything we can do to help you out. Mm -hmm. It's important the people here have access to uh, happy, nice liquid supplies. Yeah, well, I appreciate the op. He sort of like, he looks to his side and he's like, oh, uh, Fred, you're still here, are you? And then like a bead of sweat appears on his brow. Uh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. So, sorry, rooms, is it? Ta tank taverns, tavern tankards, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. Fred, haven't you finished that sandwich by now? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I like. I give you like a, a nudge, and I'm like, hasn't finished a sandwich. You might need a hand with that, don't you think? Oh, this is this is really good sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got like Even mayo, <laughs> crispy lettuce. I love bologna. I mean, I. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of like rips it in half and sort of like begrudgingly passes you a bit of a uh, sandwich. Uh, I eat a tiny bit, spit it out, and throw the rest on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't give us the best reception when we walked in. Yeah, well, I just wasn't, you know, expecting anyone. No Looks like your uh, sandwich is finished. You yeah. know, yeah. we want to get an early night. Bodge probably has got a lot on his mind. You want yeah, to sleep yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you you want me to go? I yawn very loudly, very widely, and kind of to it enunciate my tusks. Uh, are you trying to intimidate him? Yeah, okay. sure. Give me a roll. <coughs> Do you need to ask that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a three. He's sort of like he does find you a bit intimidating, but he's mm. also like, I'm gonna uh, have another drink. I think before I go. Oh, okay, okay. Why don't? Okay, yeah. No, a drink will be good. As you've been talking, he's sort of like he's got this like black coat over over some overalls, and he just sort of like just. Wraps the coat around him a bit. Okay. He's like, oh, it's a bit, a bit cold, actually, isn't it? Yeah. You know what? I feel bad. We treated you quite disdainfully when we walked in. A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? You say there. I'll, I'll bring you that drink. I'm sorry about that. And I try to look sheepish and go to the bar. Okay. okay. He's, he's sort of like looking yeah. out of the side of his side of his <coughs> glance, and then he's just sort of like. Whatever. Cool. Pulls out another sandwich. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, endless sandwich. Podge, Podge I, I insulted the good sir. Can we get a, a tankard of ale or something for him? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, although, Fred, it really is time that you went. And he's like, no, no, Bodge. I'll be here a while. <clears throat> Can I? I'd like. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you go ahead first. Uh, I just wanted to figure out Fred a little bit, if that's possible. Yeah, he's yeah, acting a little bit suspicious. He is. Really? He's, he's, no. He's got a man eating his own sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect the baloney the most. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'd just like to know what he is kind of like intending to do it's just weird like he's been asked to leave but he's sort of sticking about it's well let's let's see what you roll and then and then yeah. we'll go from there you, you suspect what he's saying is baloney <laughs> yes 
Um, so that is cunning, which I have a lot of, luckily. Uh, that is 11. 11. OK, so you can ask me. Uh, you're figuring them out, sorry, are you? Yeah. Um, so, oh, that's weapon moves. That's why I couldn't find it. Uh, <laughs> so you can ask me three questions. He's secretly a sword. Um, three questions. Uh, I would like to know. So I suppose I'd have to ask him something to know if he's telling the truth, right? Uh, no, you're asking me, the person playing the character. Oh, OK. Yeah. Interesting. OK. So uh, what is what is Fred intending to do? Um, Fred is trying to, like, wait you out mm -hmm. at the moment. He wants you to go before he can do something. Interesting. Uh, and what is he really feeling? Worried. Interesting. Mm. And how could I get him to tell us what he's going to do? Um, you could potentially ask him uh, where he lives, perhaps, so that you could walk him back to his house. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps you could just try and find some way of forcing him to leave the building. Okay. Uh, I I sort of, I, I kind of like sidle up to him. And I'm afraid that's a very nice looking sandwich there. Um, may, uh, maybe on your way back I could escort you back. It's been a little bit wild out there. And as you can see, my colleagues are quite stressed out at this time. Uh, I'd be very happy to share a little drink or two with you, but uh, I think I've got a got a certain little treat that might match that bologna very well. You know, complement the flavours, the husky flavours inside that bologna there. What what is it that you've got? Uh, I sort of uh, just just kind of like, and then like put slip out like a little bottle of like moonshine, and then like slip it back in. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the ale here has been getting a little bit. Dull, if you know what I mean. Variety is the spice of life, my friend. Huh. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, do you do like? Can I buy it here, or? I think I think if we could just take a little walk, I'd be happy to share. Huh. Thing is, I'm quite comfortable here. <clears throat> mm. Right. Might be, might be a. I sort, of, I sort of look at you. It's like my, the sort of like it was indicating, like it might be time for slightly more forceful. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't you worry about that. Uh, but I, you know, a tankard of beer for the guy. I mean, his throat must be awfully dry with that sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Those yeah, crumbs. <laughs> he's, he's poured them for you. He's yeah. sort of like he, there's, a, there's five for the whole group. Oh, like, sorry, there's four. He, I'd like to, to take one and kind of like lean with my shoulder on the table so my cloak hopefully obscures the tankard. Mm -hmm. A tankard. I like to get out my sleeping poison okay. and drip oh. a bit into it. And I'm like, I'd like to maintain contact with Bodge and just like wink at him. Would you say that you are tricking an NPC uh, or attempting might be a rogue feat? Right? It's not um, I'm not trying to hide it from no, Bodge because I feel like he wants the guy to clear out as well. I am trying to like conceal the tankard so that the guy doesn't see me putting stuff in it. So Bodge would see you put some kind of weird substance into the beer. You'd be happy with that. Okay, <laughs> no, I'll try and hide yes, it from yeah, him. You said. Fine. I will help. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll, so I'll mark one exhaustion to give you plus one. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. I'll also mark another one uh, to like conceal my aid, just to make sure that we're totally covered. Okay. So there's no no chance, um, right. and I do so by I walk to the other end of the bar because um, we're trying to hide it from Bodge, mm -hmm. really, right? Yeah. Is the bar wooden? Is it largely yeah. wood? Okay, I'm a beaver, so I get out my teeth, <laughs> oh, which no. are in my mouth, <laughs> yes, and I just start gnawing on the end of the counter, and I'm just like, I'm oh, sorry. Bodge is like, oh no 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 no, no not you <laughs> again, no, it's gone, it's gone, it's been so long. <laughs> Sick of goddamn beavers <laughs> coming into my bar. <laughs> okay, uh, so can't control you, his beaver so quickly, nature. So you're attempting a roguish feat here. Yeah. Are you attempting a roguish feat in which you are skilled? Uh, I have plus. No, I'm not skilled in it. So at this point, you're um, trusting fate. Yeah. Uh, I have plus one. Coming. Which? Well, if you've got the mark, the mark. Oh yeah. Like oh tough. sorry. Yeah, I have sneak. Um, and hide. I have hide. That's okay. one of my feats. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna roll with your um, finesse then. Okay, so that means I add my cunning to it. Oh, my finesse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's eight, and then did oh, you yeah, add so something nine, on yeah. that with your nine? Nine. Nine. Okay. So um, on a seven to nine, you're gonna mark exhaustion or one risk of your feet comes to bear. Okay. So essentially, um, we can either choose for you to. Get a bit exhausted because you've basically you're expending your your efforts. Yeah. 
or there should be I'm not sure if they're on your character sheet or somewhere else but there should be sort of like risks that are sort of like um, beholden to the kind of thing that you're that you're doing and this in this case it would be the fact that like you know perhaps you've been found out by one of a, of a large group or something like that but okay in this case it probably makes the most sense to, to exhaust you a bit yep sure um, because you're trying to convince one or two people that something's happening so yeah the slightest thing going wrong can really make this sort of pop up um, so you, yeah so you, you sort of like using your cloak you're just sort of like oh just stretching a bit like oh those beavers am I right <laughs> my goodness what are they like I'm like oh teeth stop please stop <laughs> what you're doing <laughs> my full of wood yeah, yeah so teeth sort of is like dislodged with a chunk of like bark sort of like in his teeth still and he's like you can go and sit over there yeah. uh, so you've been sort of like shoved yeah, off into so where the, the tables are once I realised that you're done uh I take my teeth away and it turns out that I've carved the end of the table into kind of a beautiful like scene, a wave. And I'm just like, I just thought it could have looked nicer. Well, I don't agree. So, <laughs> so should I put it back? You've ruined my rustic <laughs> charm. <laughs> um, so they're having a little argument. Yeah. And, and you, you pass this, uh, this tankard of ale over and he's like, oh, thanks very much. To the sandwich guy to make it absolutely clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I cheers him. And hope oh. the, cheers. The, the society pressure will force him to drink with me when I drink. Does yours taste? Wi- oh, okay. We <laughs> like it's to a, drink a, with. A <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you both down your pints, yep. and he's like, "Oh, that was a strange one." That really hit the spot. Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bod, you might need to change the barrel, mate. That was. <laughs> oh, that was really. That Did yours? Well, yeah. I guess I was a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, wasn't yeah. there? Yeah. That was really. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> um, he face plants uh, straight into the bar. You might have mixed that one a little bit too strong. Um, and Bodge is like, oh, for God's sake, not this again. He has a lot sometimes. Need a hand with him. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, do you want to close up the inn with him in here or. No, okay that would that? be that would be weird if I did that, wouldn't it? I mean, if you know where he li- where he lives, we'd be happy to take him back home, put him back to rest in his bed. Ah, oh, da- I don't know where he lives. Actually, it's the darndest thing. All um, right, can I try and figure him out? Because yeah. now I'm confused. <laughs> okay, um, I have minus one to charm for this, so this should be interesting. Uh, nope, that's six. He's just being very strange. Being this whole weird. situation is odd, mm. and you cannot seem to figure out what the hell he's planning or I'm going to like plant my hands on my hips and just look at him like I just I've got no idea what he's doing at the moment I'm not even trying to hide how confused I am <laughs> I'm just like okay look, why don't you all just have a nice sleep yeah the beds are already made nobody's slept in for the last bloody week so they might as well be mm-hmm. and we can we can convene in the morning yeah I'm going to look to uh, Moonshine and Teeth. Mm. I'd like to try and like figure something out again. Okay. Just try and read him. Um, what does what what does he intend to do? What does uh, Bodge intend to do? Let's see what he rolls. Mm. That is six. And oh, that's not great. Uh, that is an eight. Uh, okay, so one question. Mm-hmm. So what what was the question? Sorry, what is? Um, what does he intend to do? So. Well, whilst Bodge has been chatting with you, you notice he's been strangely stationary. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been, <laughs> like when he leaned over to give you your beer, he was like, here you go. <laughs> um, and you, you look at the sort of like the feet of this this quite large, um, quite large badger and, and like underneath him, there's like this really like tattered old rug. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And it looks like, cause he doesn't clean this place very often, but weirdly like the bit of floor next to this rug Looks like it's been a little bit more polished or a little bit more, you know, active. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost like he swept a small portion of the floor and then gave up. Mm. Like, no, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is it time for some more sleepy juice? I mean, I'm just curious whether we could, like, maybe intimidate him into doing it. Or, oh, I can intimidate him or, into something. I could at least try. Or just try and find a way to get him to move off the rug. I have an idea. Uh, Is I it about like fire? <laughs> <laughs> fire? Oh my gosh, right. Oh, uh, 
Um, I would like to try and drop a flaming something onto the rug. <laughs> Uh, Oops! <laughs> <laughs> so I think maybe in the corner I whittle away a small stick or something that I know is going to burn. Some kind of, uh, let's say like a twine, no not twine, like a, a ball, like a wicker ball. Um, that if I set light to it, it will essentially, I can just roll it onto the rug and it will set the rug alight. And hopefully heat up his feet and cause him to move. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would like to wreck something. Okay. Um, you so roll with might. With might, in which I have zero points. <laughs> um, while Teeth is doing this, can I say that I gave them my bag of gunpowder? And that you did I've give some gunpowder to, yeah. um, to Teeth, yeah. And I've realised that I left it with them. T uh, Fennel has. Mm -hmm. So they're going to they're gonna leave their... Home. I'm gonna say you're you're on your way to yeah. the tavern to meet you're up. You're like with them. rushing, going. Oh, I need that for my my mm -hmm. my invention. I'm doing mm -hmm. it tonight. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So let's have your roll. A lovely six, which is a fail. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Yeah, I think um, it just fails. Yeah. So you are sort of like. Okay, here's what happens. So you you grab this sort of like uh, bit of bit of wood, and you grab some also little bits of twine, and you're like, oh, this is a nice little fire starter, um, and you start sort of like flicking a bit of flint mm. to try and get a spark going. Yeah, just I'm not catching. Do it off my teeth. Yeah, that's how I like <laughs> <my> things. <laughs> um, and then you see Bodge like staring at you, like, what are you doing? Uh, and you just you just sort of carry on because hmm. you're in your own world here, yeah, so like, you're I, not stopping. I, He's I, like, can you stop that, please? And at he, he sort of looks at the ground. He's like, "Can you stop that, please?" <laughs> at this moment, can we say like Fennel bangs open the door? Yes. Yeah. Like Fennel <laughs> bangs in and goes, "My gunpowder!" And then starts when they see what um, what Teeth is doing. Gunpowder? Sorry, what is going on right now? I hold up my pipe real quick and be like, "No, my pipe's here, Teeth. It's here. It's not that." I don't. I don't need the tinder to light it this oh, time. Are you with the goddamn eerie? You're eerie folk, aren't you? Did I sound like I was from the eerie from the display on the stage earlier? You never bloody know these days. Right, I'm a uh, beaver. <laughs> <laughs> um, I sort of like uh, puff up, look sort of with a kind of like fake kind of intimidation. I'm like, I belong to no man, sir, especially no bird. You're trying to intimidate him? Uh, yeah, I can okay. try. Uh, what would I roll for that? Just uh, so you're, you're trying to persuade an NPC. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you're going to roll with your charm. Excellent. Uh, that would be a 10. 10, okay. Um, so you, like, you're visibly like, how dare you? Like, I am fiercely neutral. Um, <laughs> you sort of like bang, bang your fist down, and he's like, no, no, I. All right, maybe not you, but <laughs> someone uh, around uh, here is with you. There's something weird going on here, and, and, and everyone should, should leave my tavern. Oh, uh, you know, the airy have a lot to offer us, especially when you it comes can shut to right up. <laughs> I'm not hearing any eerie propaganda in my pub. Uh, I take a swift glance to see how the older people <laughs> did this doing with the fire. Um, I would like to try to intimidate him mm -hmm. into backing off and going upstairs to sleep off whatever temper he's in. Okay. <clears throat> I've forgotten what I roll for this. Two of these and then add my might instead. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> okay, that's a seven. That's a seven? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so he's you sort of like you're like, right, enough shouting yeah. at my friends now, please. You give him the look and he's like, Alright, okay, okay. Look, look and he sort of looks below him for a second, he's like Okay. Uh I look, why don't why don't we all go to bed? Yeah? Yeah. Would that help? That's we fine. can all go to Let's bed. Let's go yeah? to bed. Right. Brilliant. Uh, so he starts walking off, and um, you know sometimes people sometimes come out of the toilet and they've got a bit of toilet paper stuck <laughs> in their shoe. Uh. <laughs> the rug gets stuck to the bottom of his foot, and he steps away, and it sort of like it tugs a bit, and he starts moving. And you see like a little little corner of trap door underneath the rug. Mm. Uh, does Fennel see it? Um, yeah, absolutely. Everyone sees it. Yeah, Fennel points and goes. It's a trap door. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not anything. No, he's like trying to go to it bed, Bodge. I've helped make one of those before. In fact, I may have helped make I one. I'd like one. move over to Fennel and I'm just like, yeah, no, this is a trap door. It is. Go to bed. Go to bed, Bodge. Okay. All right. Uh, Bodge sort of like leans down, 
rips the rug off of his shoe, mm-hmm. charges for the window and bursts out. <laughs> <of the glass. laughs> um, <laughs> okay. You look out to see him sprinting away. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> for a long time. In the in the direction of um, of the Marquisette camp. Ah, okay. I waste no time going to open the trap door. Like, I feel like we probably don't have a lot of time to figure out mm. whatever the hell he's doing. Yeah, just okay. Yeah. Is it locked? Um, it is, there's like a sort of like, um, like a rudimentary padlock on can, it. Can I use my pick lock ability? Yeah, to, absolutely. Because Fennel's really excited about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're gonna like rush over. Ooh, what's underneath? And out <laughs> of the, they've got a really big cloak. Mm-hmm like a coat and loads of little pockets in it loads of pockets and inside they like reach in and bring out like a pick lock uh, and uh, start like going at it um, so uh, this is a roguish feat mm-hmm. finesse oh. oh that's cocked mm-hmm. gonna re-roll that okay that is a seven plus one eight okay um, so, uh, mark one exhaustion. Okay. Um, but basically, what's happened is um, it's taken you a little while, and you actually like you hurt your fingers a little bit because there's an old rusty lock. Mm. But eventually, you find that latch point, and you go, ah, mm. got it. Um, the uh, the the small latch sort of pops off, and uh, the the trap door is open for you to to yeah. try and pull open. I did it! I did it! I knew I could do it. Great. I applaud you. Gone powder, I'd got out. <laughs> Backup measure. You pop a grenade back in here. <laughs> uh, I fling the trap door open with okay. absolutely no caution whatsoever. Um, <laughs> classic ball. Classic. So, as you can expect, uh, there is a tunnel beneath this trap door. Um, at first, you thought it might have been like a sort of cellar where they where he kept uh, some of the beer, and you do see a, a sort of like collection of barrels which look like it could have ale in mm. but then it goes further on and further and further there's this is some kind of passageway <clears throat> okay it's a passageway um, <laughs> can, I, can I clear my exhaustion track because I'm a cynic which means when I uncover an important or damaging falsehood I get to get an exhaustion because he's been doing a falsehood because he's been hiding something absolutely awesome is it dark it's quite dark, yeah. Uh, I've got my burning ball of wicker. <laughs> it's finally lit. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of roll it down the passageway to see what's coming up. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, so you roll this little ball down, and you can see like the sort of orangish glow sort of like follow down. It goes on for quite a while, and then like it's difficult to make out because you, you are just sort of like leaning under a, under a trap door. Um, but you think you hear something at the end of the passageway, like a couple of people go, "What? What? What is that?" What's the plan? Uh, you ask now? <laughs> now is when you ask? How about we blow them up? We or we set them on fire? I'm easy. I really um. don't think that's a very good idea. Okay, we'll burn them mildly. You Surely, might hurt them. <laughs> whatever's on the other end of this tunnel is probably cat related. So. I mean. You and cats don't seem to get along mighty well. We all have our disagreements, but I don't think we should, you know. Kill them. Oh my god, you're so wholesome, Fennel. It's <laughs> killing me. I, I'd like to improvise something, because I have improvised as a weapon skill. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd like to craft some kind of, let's say I whittle with my teeth. So almost like a duck call, but instead of a duck call, it's a yowling cat, <laughs> as in in trouble. So it's like, you blow it in and it goes, <laughs> <laughs> can, I assist? can I assist? Yeah. Now yeah. that I'm seeing that he's not going to try. You can add one to his roll, up. but after they've rolled, though, so you know if it's worth it or not. Okay. Um, okay. So cunning. Mm-hmm. I have zero in cunning. Good. <laughs> I rolled nine. Oh my words. Okay. So you can you can add one to make it a full success. Would I have to take an exhaustion to do yes. that? Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's I'm not sure why you <laughs> rolled, but yes, you just take an exhaustion and then you get a plus. I don't know why I rolled. It's fine. It's um, fine. So yes, yeah, mm. so you make this weird yeah. cat meowing device. It looks like a big horn, mm. so you expect it to go. But instead, yeah. it goes. <laughs> <laughs> so normally this would be quite a shoddy construction, but with mm. the, the help of fennel, you actually make something a bit more sturdy. I'm a fine carpenter. Yeah, you reckon yeah. you could get a few uses mm. out of this as well? 
Tasty um, bit so of wood, that as well. Tuck that away into your into one of your coat pockets because that could be that could come in useful at some point. Mm. Um, so you sort of blare this thing down the passageway, <laughs> and once again you hear the voices, and they're like, "Is that that can't not here now?" Bodge, Bodge, are you there? Bodge. I look at you and I'm like. Uh. <laughs> As suddenly Fennel opens their mouth and says, "Yeah, it's me, Bodge." <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you roll me to trick, um, trick an NPC? Yeah. <laughs> this is with is that, cunning. That's cunning. Yeah. Okay. That is Ted. Uh, Bodge. <laughs> oh, thank God! What's going on over there? We've got the shipment. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna come down here to give you some more ale <laughs> and collect the shipment. Um, I'd like to whisper to you, like, say you got some people to help out with the shipment. I bought some people to help out, carry th- all the stuff to the place. To the place. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately get my cat insignia, like military bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where's John and Phil? Are they are they with you still? Ah. <laughs> They got drunk, died laying about. <laughs> okay. What about Fred? Fred's <laughs> mum is not well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's right. been very, very sick. She is had to go and look after her. I, I, I thought he went out for a sandwich. Yeah, he had the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and then he realised his mum was ill. <laughs> Bad baloney. Right. She ate bad baloney. Yeah. Well, we've we've got what they asked for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I'm coming. To, I'm coming to get it. Bodge is coming, is he? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's got Christ. something that looks like a badger? Uh, what was? But he was a badger. Yeah. What mm-hmm. colour was the rug? Is it black and white? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what, Bodge? Why don't you just send your new blokes out and they can pick it up? <laughs> Tell them we'll, he'll cover himself. Oh, oh no! I've fallen over! <laughs> oh, I've really hurt myself! Ow! I better send these guys instead! I stride forward to go yeah. take the shipment, just okay. shaking my head at this lot. I'd still like to improvise. If there's a black and white rug or some sort of material, there carpet. is. There's a like a tan rug. Wonderful. I'd like to improvise it into a badger costume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I um? Can I grab a cat insignia off of you? Actually, you have one, don't you? Um. So I think I've just got the singular one, but I'm happy to give it to you. You're no, probably no. more. You're probably more. You would probably come off more as someone that has been in the military, because I clearly am just like a vagrant possum. <laughs> I so I'm like, yes, I found the wall. Like, <laughs> it just wouldn't really work very well. So you're you're welcome to. You're welcome to take it as you you sure? do, if you're willing to do the sort of pomp and circumstance. I'm willing yeah. to do the intimidation stuff, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, so okay. yeah, I heard, heard you say, and I'm like, use this preciously, I went through hell to get it. <laughs> I like rub off some dried blood off it, and I'm like, it's all I see, it's all I see, and plant it on my Don't shoulder. Don't worry, that's not my blood. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think it was. <laughs> okay, so um, so you you sort of, you go down this sort of like makeshift ladder that they've built yep. underneath, and, and in the distance, you can see they've started to burn some torches now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you get closer, you realise there are two foxes. Okay. Um, they're wearing the same overalls that uh, the Fred was wearing, and they have the same sort of black cloaks over their shoulders. Mm-hmm. Um, and in front of them is this sort of like leather bundle, and you can see the hilts of swords mm, coming out. I like that. Okay. I'm here for the shipment. Why are you wearing colours? Because uh, Bodge told us we had to in order to fit in. You've been in the town, right? You know, there are two factions fighting. It's like, we can't side with one. Yeah, but that's the point. You do know the plan, right? Um, no, he didn't tell me. Don't be stupid. Why would you tell me? Then I could just tell the guards. Well, everyone else knew the plan. I'm here to collect the shipment, and that's it, mate. I don't know what to tell you. Can you roll to try and trick the PC? Can I roll to try and intimidate? Yeah, <coughs> sure, go on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's uh, six, or two, eight. Uh, could I help? Could I help her in some way? You're not with her, so you would have had to follow. Uh, God, that'll probably make us more compromised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to help. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a I rolled a four on the improvising of a costume, so let's assume that it just looks like a 
you know when a ghost is a sheet with oh holes. Oh my god! But I, this is just a black and white wow. one. With yeah, holes. I think but. you've got some kind of tar and you've yeah. done a strip down it and then two dots on the side and yeah. just gone like that. And but you're like, it yeah. it covers your face and mouth. Yeah, yeah. So so they don't know. I'm a yeah, bigger. but <laughs> so but you're are you trying to pretend to be Botch? Uh, I think I'm I'm at least aware enough to know that this does not look like a badger. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, it looks like a badger that went for a steamroller and then. Was so draped what, over me. What? What is the point? <laughs> he's the. He's it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but, Come on, Liam. But, no, but yeah. I mean, you're, you're now trying to intimidate, yeah. and this is a very strange kind of surreal. I mean, situation. The in the context of the game, but so you walk up in your weird badger costume, um, and one of them says, "Jesus, did Bob see you wearing that? <laughs> He'd skin you." <laughs> And I say, you're trying to intimidate, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I already skinned Bodge. <laughs> you're looking at him. <laughs> oh. oh my God. What is happening up if there? If you don't want to end up like this, you'd make a very fetching costume, by the way. If you don't want to end up like this, you better agree with my friend. Oh, hey, sort of like, so what did you roll? Sir? I rolled an eight overall. Okay, so you're going to get you're gonna get an exhaustion and yes. add a plus one? Yes. Okay, so... Um, so they are like obviously very confused, <laughs> but also a little bit shaken. Um, the the one who immediately started talking to you is like, um, do we? Uh, is this worth worth the effort? Because I mean, we can make more swords. And these the the guy was like reaching for his sword, and now he's like, no, you're right. Actually, this is. Um, yeah, yeah, you're you're part of the the part of the organisation. You yeah. take the swords, yeah. and we'll we'll go back. That's a good idea, friend. Yeah. yeah, good idea. We need to get back to the tap to the I tavern. I heard nothing. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. You better go back to the tavern now. Cool. They sort of like <laughs> fumble behind them for a door and like, <laughs> bye then. Bye. <laughs> so it's quite dark now that the torches have sort of disappeared behind the door. Um, and this is the first chance that you've had to actually sort of look around this tunnel, despite the only real light source is a small ball of wick <laughs> that's like just knocked up against the wall. Mm. Um, but this is like a sort of old tunnel. Like this has existed for a while. Mm. Um, this is not this has not been built recently, but it's it's basically like someone's just taken some shovels to the dirt underneath the ground and made like a makeshift passageway. But then at the end, where the door um, that the two foxes sort of disappeared behind. Um, it's sort of it's almost like the the brickwork that makes up the wall just sort of completely stops and then it's mud almost like you've been tunneling through earth mm -hmm. and then hit the bottom of some kind of building mm. and it goes are you are you there it's very dark oh yeah we're here <laughs> I'd like to inspect the shipment <clears throat> okay what do I find in it um, so you sort of like unfurl the, the sort of leather wraps and like these are some nice sort of fox white swords this okay. is fox and steel um, these look like they have been sort of made in mass production they don't mm. have the same, same kind of like finesse mm. that most of the swords that you've seen them make have okay um, it looks like these were being delivered to someone mm, <laughs> someone who might it? have lots of soldiers who need swords <laughs> Might it look like the tower are playing both sides of this conflict? Oh, I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'm going to haul the shipment back to these guys and just like drop it at their feet. Mm -hmm. Just go, oh, it's fox and steel. It's not as good as usually it is. It's not. No, I bring out my longsword and I'm like, it's no comparison really. But uh, I wonder why they're making new swords. I wonder, I wonder why, why they're doing it through a secret passage. Yeah. Do you think it's something to do with the war? I think it might be, yes, Fennel. Um, I have no idea how to process this because I was so clearly going to pick a side, but now I'm like, well, this does kind of make sense. I turn to you and I'm like, that's my definitely stable moral compass on what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> this appears to be a nice little bit of emotional blackmail we could get ourselves into. True. How about... We solve the problem. Blow up the tower. <laughs> <laughs> no more swords. No more playing both sides. Everyone's happy, mm. right? I that would be fair. Mm -hmm. I do like the fairness. It is of that. very fair. Yeah. I really don't think that's a good idea. It would mean your cat stopped getting swords. I think we should just tell everyone what's happening. But then they could win over people using their charisma and keep making swords for the bad guys. 
But they're... Which is all of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> but they're lying. They are lying, but why don't we tell them about the deception after we've done the tower plan? I really don't think it's a good idea. Maybe if we've got some evidence, then people would just believe us after we told them. I think whoever has power over the tower in this situation is the one to watch for, and I think that person could be us. Mm. <laughs> also a great point. <laughs> why don't we go in there and just tell them to stop making swords? <sighs> I don't have the words to explain to you how bad of an idea that is. <laughs> Sure, they'd listen. Mm. They know me. I've been working with them, well, for a few months. Mm. They know my ma, and they know all my siblings. It's <laughs> so. so whilst there you guys go. are chatting, um, you hear mumbling in the background, and then, like, sort of, like, coming up from a very impromptu slumber that seems to have hit oh, them all at okay, once and yeah. then just, sit, like, sifted out. Um, you see Fred just sort of, like, oh... Oh, he's like hurt his nose as he's landed yeah. um, and he looks around at the scene he looks at the open um, hatch <laughs> on the floor he looks at you guys holding the fox and steel and then he looks at the broken window he sort of scoots out of his oh, chair oh. sprints towards the window no. and then like still half asleep just smacks up against the wall and like collapses <laughs> onto the ground he sort of rolls over and he's like oh hi guys uh <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> Despite everything, I kind of like Fred. <laughs> okay, um, what do you say we have the best of both worlds? We drag Fred outside with the fox and steel, expose it to the town, and then hopefully the chaos will destroy the tower and we can grab ourselves some stuff from the inside. Do we still get to blow up the tower? Oh, or is it the villagers? I c would I do that to you? I'm on board. <laughs> yeah, come on. So you, you do understand, though, that whatever side we back... Like, there's armies on either side of the town. Whoever we back is going to get destroyed by the opposing army. Oh, I'm not backing a side. I'm uh, into the idea of the swords mm. in that tower that I could grab that are probably of far superior quality to the uh, this shipment here that we've got. I'm but sure the well, foxes would just let you have the swords. Mm. What I'm saying is, whatever, whatever the army is going to invade with whoever the losing side is. I don't know, like, I want to get some souls, but I'm not I'm not too happy leaving this town over to the back of the birds or the cats. I think the people here deserve something a little better than that. Mm. Well, which side would you suggest siding with, then? I don't think we suggest with any side. As I said, there's armies outside the town. One invades, the other loses. If we blow up the tower, which is the important thing here, <laughs> uh, they stop supplying both sides, better for the people. You blow up the tower, you're taking away the only means of income these people have. Well, it seems like the swords are going to the... I've turned into fizz. <laughs> 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 he, he, he's got a point. Before they started making swords, they were helping us make things to sell and trade. So if you destroy that, then we won't be able to do that anymore. Gosh, what an intriguing moral <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> you teach him. How to use explosives. I've always <laughs> found them very effective. <laughs> I can't let you do that. And then all suddenly like goes up to you and stands in your way. Says, I'm sure you're a very nice person. That's right. I can't <laughs> I'm a beaver not a person, but <laughs> mostly correct. I can't a person. <laughs> I can't let you do that and I won't allow it. And they're shaking while they're saying this. What's your solution to this? Like I said, we go out, we show them the evidence, we bring this fellow with us to back us up, and and maybe we can unite everyone together with all this powerful steel. I'm sure they'll be able to stand against the armies okay. and create an <coughs> independent republic. As a cynic, I 100% buy into this plan. Um, <laughs> I grab Red, Fred by the scruff of his neck and the sword shipment and I'm gonna haul them outside and I point to you and I go, make a big explosion. Let's get everyone out of the houses Mark and pleasure. make sure the people can decide what they're gonna do about this. Uh, okay, I, let me think for a second. What's, <laughs> oh, there's no one left in the tavern, right? <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> no, but no. We, we, wanna, <laughs> we need to show them the path to get oh, to the tower for point. evidence. Uh, what else can I blow up? The stage. <laughs> okay. That's got some okay. nice symbolism to it. Blowing yeah. up the thing in which people exactly. kind of battered out their factions. I'm all for democracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have gunpowder that you gave mm. me earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so they gave me some gunpowder. I'm going to improvise. I'm going to create to destroy. 
Um, and I'm going to... I'm going to take from the tavern... Presumably there are spirits as well as ale? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Okay, I take all the spirits. And some moonshine, of course, from you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> if you'd permit me, I'll take some of your moonshine. I'll happily donate to the coals of fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I... What I do is I... With my teeth, being a beaver, I create a large tub, kind of like the one that Geralt sits in in The Witcher, that mm-hmm. kind of thing, that size, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, like paddling pool size. Mm-hmm. We fill it with all the spirits and the moonshine. Yep. Um, I sprinkle the gunpowder around yep. the rest of the stage, create a trail leading back off. Um, this I is just, a real cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I also... Put some. I kind of improvise some things that will go up like fireworks. So mm. smaller, smaller gunpowder kind of things that will rocket up. I n- gnaw some sticks to put them in the floor. So we're looking at kind of one big fire explosion, loads of fireworks. Before you light it, I just like to hold out my empty pipe and just be like, "Eh, come on, it's tradition." Just gesture to put some fire in the pipe thing. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I, cool. I'll sprinkle some gunpowder in oh, the end of lovely. your pint, isn't it? Yeah. Thanks. I know you like Stick it. Stick it in my mouth, but yeah. <laughs> Just like old times. It's got to be terrible for your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep running out of gunpowder. <laughs> uh, so I, I need to roll for this. Mm-hmm. Um, so I roll with finesse, which I have zero in, despite wanting to create to destroy. I get a six. Um, I'd like to help. Oh. Yeah, I got oh. it. Don't worry. I'm going to say this. This friendship has been such a gift to me. <laughs> I'm going to say that considering, um, like, before you tried to create something similar and you were missing a component, which you've now found, um, not only that, uh, but because you've been helped into the second bracket, I'm going to bump you up to a full success. Awesome. Like, with all of the elements combining, this has sort of, like, been building up to this for a little while. That's lovely. In some um, ways, I'm a little a little wishing that it had been, because <laughs> you have to pick more dangerous than intended, larger or more unwieldy than intended. Oh, fine. Uh, no, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, 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 cool. Uh, so yeah, you roll a seven. Uh, Great. And uh, you create something larger than and more unwieldy yeah, than so you intended. I, I have to pick two out of this list of three. Uh, so it's both more dangerous than intended and yep. larger or more unwieldy than intended. Fantastic. Yeah. OK. Um, so basically, what happens is you get this big bathtub. Uh, a few people sort of like poke their heads out of the window, and they're like, What's he up to? <laughs> because they've seen you sort of like slinking around for the for the past like pop portion of this day, and they're like, I don't trust him. <laughs> Boring thatch from the houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and you're like, yeah, you walk up and you're like, oh, good evening, and then rips some, rips some roof <laughs> off and like make this little trail. Um, and you've got this sort of cocktail placed on the platform where the the older man was speaking. Uh, no, under, if that's okay. Because I assume at the back it's kind of open. Yeah, it's basically just like a wooden stilt with a Yeah, so I'd like top, to put yeah. it under mm-hmm. and then maybe the fireworks on top because okay. otherwise they'll just fly into it. So, um, so what happens is um, you, you light the path and the, the trail follows and you sort of start rubbing your hands together and then in a huge bang, it's not like a forceful explosion, but the heat can be felt all across the town. Um, there is just like this immense fireball that blasts up into the sky. People are like screaming. They've just been woken up. They're running out of their houses. They're grabbing like pails of water like, oh God, the war started again. <laughs> People think that the invading forces are clashing and then it, like, it takes them a moment to realize what's happening. Um, and there is just now this enormous bonfire where the platform <laughs> used to be. Um, from out underneath the platform, under like a little hatch, you see the old woman pop up like, oh! Uh, oh my goodness! He's been living under there. Oh no! <laughs> um, so he's got some kind of weird underground burrow that he's been he's been living in. Uh, he's now sort of like sprinting out like my home, my home. <laughs> um, so there's a bit of a hullabaloo that you've caused. Uh, where would you like to go from here? <laughs> I would like to chuck Fred to the ground and the swords around him and yell out, "People of Hollow Keep, you have been deceived." I'm going to point to the tower and say they've been making swords for both sides and smuggling them out to fuel the fires of this war. <coughs> and then I'm like, oh, and there's like a, a, a tunnel in the tavern if you want to check my story. But it's true. <laughs> so like everyone goes, <gasps> and then someone like uh, you see that they've they've been walking towards you for a little while, um, and it is uh, it's one of uh, Bodge's sort of subordinates, mm-hmm. um, and he like he bursts forward and like throws some swords on the floor and he's like, people of Hollowkeep, you've been deceived. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you doing that? Are you doing the deceit thing as well? The Eerie Dynasty have been buying swords off of us in secret. Oh, well, the cat people have been doing it too. 
I, I'd like to just point at the tower and be like, oh, they're the ones who did it. Like, I feel like they're the ones you should take this up with. Uh, so there is like a moment of like beleaguered confusion. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that confusion turns to sort of planning. And then okay. that planning turns to anger. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the anger turns to violence. Oh, <laughs> um, before that point, yes. <laughs> um, can Fennel, can Fennel just go? I really think that we should go to the tower and ask them to give us those swords and form our own republic without the cats or the birds. What do we say to that, everyone? There's like a silence. <laughs> and then they look around at each other and they're like, there's two armies either side of us. We can barely withstand one of them, let alone two. With all this this fine weaponry, I don't see why not. Hmm. So like a few people are sort of like whispering to each other like, would it be possible? No, think, surely not. Think about it. We've got community. We've got each other. We've survived here long enough. Why can't we live here permanently? Um, so a few people sort of start like nodding along. Like you, mm. it's a rousing speech, yeah. despite the sort of like. Uh, Fennel's never spoken. It's like soft that. spoken, but it's like you know, it's it demands attention. Yeah. And a few people are like, yeah, why are we just sort of bowing and bending our knees to all of these huge armies that come across? And then a few people from the corner are like, but we can no, we there's no way that we can withstand that kind of aggressive attack there's only but a few of us and they have two reasonably large forces on either side well what about the tower if we use the tower as some kind of battlement we could surely fend them off well they won't let us in will they sneaky beggars have been stealing all the swords from us and sending them out to the armies on the outside maybe exactly that Mr Whiskers <laughs> wait what <laughs> I've got a solution that I think will please oh, both sides oh no <laughs> uh, can I roll to persuade this crowd that maybe the best option is to just be done with the tower there's a few different factions that are forming once again as is sort of like custom in this town there are the people who say that um, things should just stay how they are there are people that think, yeah, we should form a republic and kill both of the armies. And then there are the people who are like, there's no way that we can um, win. We have to pick a side and, and band together to fight the other. Um, you're going to have to con- like convince all three of them. <laughs> okay, so three rolls. Three separate rolls, please. I've got plus one to charm. Okay. Uh, I'm happy to help you. Uh, the first is a 10. Hey. So that's done. Let's. Okay, so which order did I say it in? There's the, the people who are like, um, things need to stay the same. And you're like, uh, I say, wrong. <laughs> uh, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> the way things are is crap, frankly. Yeah. I've only been here about two days, maybe one day. It's been terrible. Uh, Fair point. The things saying the way they are, it's not not good. Let's be real. Those armies, if they want to take you, they'll take you eventually. Uh, and I think the tower supply on both sides is just helping fuel that. I think there's probably enough weaponry for the people inside right now. If most of it's going to the armies outside, blowing up the tower is only going to help because they're going to have less. They have more people to supply. They're going to need more supplies. You've got enough supplies here. You can take back that power by blowing up the tower. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I, Say it with me now. I create a placard with that <laughs> slogan on it by gnawing it. Okay. Um, so you convince the, yeah. uh, the status quo folk. Um, what to the people who say that uh, we should be forming a republic, think. Uh, uh, that's an eight. Oh, no, sorry. That's a, yeah, no, that's an eight plus one, so nine. Does anyone want to help to make it a full success? No. <laughs> so they're not sure. The GM will tell you what you need to do to sway them. Mm. Um, I will help. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. He's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I, he has my tusk. Like, it's a thing. I'm bound to him. I feel like our I friendship has ended. <laughs> It's one a very dysfunctional relationship. I can't help but help him. One of the old neutrals that uh, the opossum was talking to earlier sort of stand up and they're like, yeah, you're right. 
This tower's more trouble than it's worth. It's the only reason they've marked you. It's the only reason they're watching you, is they, they want the tower. They you take away the tower, there's nothing left for them here. Exactly. They wouldn't be here in the <laughs> yes. first place. You there's take no... back the tower, you take back the land. It's yours. Oh, I heard someone say earlier that if we take back the tower, we take back the power. <laughs> <laughs> take back the tower, take back the power, like the like the beaver says. <laughs> he made a sign and everything. Look at it. <laughs> um, so the last group to convince are the ones who think that you should be folding under the power of one of the armies so that you can band together to destroy the other. Oh, that's just wrong. But we'll see if they agree. Uh, that's eight. That's another nine. Um, I'll help you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I, with them, so they're suggesting to side with one of the two. And I just say, uh, that's suicide. You know, you side with one and the other will just, it just gives them an invitation to fight. They're against each other. At the moment, you're in the middle. Uh, like my good friend Moonshine says, once the tower's gone, they've got no quarrel with you. That's the only thing bringing them here. But if you side with one of them, that's going to make the other want to come at you and it's going to cost lives, your lives. You side with the cats, the birds come in. You side with the birds, the cats come in. Exactly. Where does that leave you and the people? Falono steps forward. The, uh, oh, no. <laughs> the merchant from before, and he's like, now I know what you're all thinking. Oh, I'm this not sure again. you do, but... <laughs> well, while while he he's saying this, uh, Fennel's gonna run off towards the tower. Oh no! Okay, we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, I know what you're all thinking. Oh, a bird. <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. Well, actually, I wasn't wondering what you were thinking at all. So if you could just stay. Oh, I'm sure you were. Now, Mr. <laughs> Beaver, you have swayed this gentle bird's heart. Uh, okay. This feud. This fight that we find ourselves in the centre of, it only exists because of the strategic resources we have. And even if we were to side with the birds, they could die against the walls of the fort and be swept up by the cats in an instant. But if we destroy the tower, then it's a true fight. Mano we mano. Whoever decides the battle in the first place is the victor in the end. Let's destroy the tower and then the birds will be victorious. And if the cats are victorious, then fair enough. <laughs> Oh, wow. A rousing uh, speech. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a bit honest with your son there. I don't think this should be about cats and birds. I think this should all be about this fine town that you all live in. Yes. Let's buckle our own town <laughs> and then we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? It doesn't make sense now, but I'm sure it will later. In the end, it's going to be Hollow Keep that wins. No damn manger cat, no damn manger bird either. No offence intended, son. This is about hollow keep, not A lot of offence taken, but yes! <laughs> uh, so Fennel, you sprint up to the tower. Yeah, yeah, Fennel's um, running. And you see one of the foxes come out and they're like, no further. Please, please, please listen to me. Oh, it's bad, oh, it's bad. They're coming for you, they're going to destroy the tower! Who are the cats? All of them! The, the birds? Townsfolk. The, the townsfolk? You've got to get out of there! Oh no. Jigs up, lads. Jigs up. They figured it out. Um, he sort of like swings back into the tower and there's like a sort of like a hubbub from upstairs. You can hear like sort of pots breaking and stuff like that. Um, and then it just falls into silence. Yeah. Okay. Um, is the door still locked? Yes. Uh, Fennel's going to shout up there and say, if you let me help you get out. Give up all your weapons and I will help you get out of here without being blown to pieces. What are you offering to do for them as one person? <laughs> uh, they they know me because mm -hmm. they've worked with Fennel for yeah. like a few months and they know that Fennel can build things. Mm -hmm. And you know, they they're a they're a smart cookie. So Fennel is essentially offering them a potential escape with a smart invention if they give up the weaponry. So I'm going to ask you to persuade. Okay. Um, but I'm going to need a full success. Okay. Because the the odds of them believing this are quite low. <laughs> Still will die. <laughs> That's probably not full success. Uh, what am I using? Charm. Uh, that is charm. Yeah. That's a six. That's a six. Are That's you... not even a partial. Uh, yeah, even if we all lend, it's not going to work, is it? You don't I want to say. lend. You want to... Well, I want to blow up the tower, but I don't think the beaver's out for blood. You know. So, um, 
another fox sort of pops out the window and, it's, and you recognise him. It's it's yeah. Harry. You've you've dealt with him a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, "Fennel, you need to get out of here quick." And he swishes back into the darkness, and you you hear like a clattering from the top of the tower, and there's a, a sort of like oh, fuse sound. Oh no! Fennel. <laughs> knows what this is, hears it, it goes, oh, 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 and then just like, just goes, ah, like runs in a di- in one of the... Um, so what you see then, and you guys picture this as well, because this is quite difficult to miss, mm-hmm. um, a single flare fires up oh. into the night sky, it, it glows red, uh, and the, all of the rabble fall silent, and they, they sort of realise what's happened, uh, and... On the on the outside, on the outskirts, outskirt, sorry, of the town, you hear war horns. I think it's time to leave, lads, don't you? Maybe we should uh, vacate um, the premises. I, I, I point out to like the sort of uh, the, the the not so great weapons that presumably we've come out. Mm-hmm. I'm like, everyone, you arm yourselves. You keep mm-hmm. these people out. I'm just like throwing them out on our way out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you persuade, please, for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I guess we don't really know if there's any tunnels or anything anyone could go into. There's the tunnel that leads to the tower, but somehow I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so that is a 12. I mean, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, So (laughs) (laughs) I was expecting you to say another thing, and I was like, oh, no, wait, no, that's a 12. Yeah, no, okay. Um, So they're like, ah, yeah, yeah, let's do it, and then start sort of like unsheathing swords. You see people sort of like ripping bits of like plank to make makeshift shields and things. Um, A few of the sort of like larger, sort of like more in charge people are sort of like, right, you can tell they've seen battle before. They're like, right, you lot start forming around me. We need to form a shield wall on this part of the town. Like all kinds of plans start. They're really like, you're quite proud of them. They're doing quite well. And I sort of, uh, I take one last look at like you guys uh, and I'm like, I think think we might be able to help them defend this place. You got the fire, you got the strength, I got the guile. I think they're all going to die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we should vacate the premises. Yeah. I This has been mighty fun, but uh, I have no wish to lose my life to a cat or a bird. Mm, this Fennel's been running to his... They've been running to their house mm-hmm. uh, to, like, get there to tell their... their <laughs> 400 siblings yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they run to the door and they're like banging on the door going mama mama everyone they're coming to attack we need to get out of here um mama sort of like pops out of the tree trunk uh she's like pulled a sleep mask out from uh, from her face and she's wearing like a, a shower cap that she sleeps in um and she's like what what's what's happening fennel fennel the noise the fire <laughs> Grab it, everyone, all of them. We we gotta go again. Oh no, are they in- invading? Yes. Quirky. Quick, everyone, everyone out! And you see like a train of uh, <laughs> weasels. <laughs> of weasels just sort of slink out of this tree. If this is a keep, is there any one entrance in or out? Yes. Because I don't. I wanted to blow up the tower. Not of the town. Uh, of the tower. Oh, of the tower. So yeah, the, the town, town is like you know, like buildings on the outskirts of a walled uh, okay, city. Right. Like, so they're, people they're kind of just... there's a way out that doesn't necessarily involve being slaughtered by cats and birds for those that wish to escape you don't know what kind of perimeter the two armies have you've right. seen like camps and stuff but you don't know how wide their battle lines are so it, in theory they could possibly encircle the town but you wouldn't be able to tell unless mm. you actually tried I, I'd like to rescue I don't know about you but I don't want to die but I also <laughs> don't want a load of other animals I to die I, I, um, think, I think that we managed to mobilise them and I don't know who in the hell told them up in the tower what we were doing because they now know but I think I think that I, I think that we're, we're here and we should help these people I'm not about helping people but I do feel like I maybe ought to protect Fennel's family because of something that happened in our past, Fennel, damn it, that I just feel <laughs> indebted to you too. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to grab your cloak and kind of hoist you away as I go and try and help Fennel get her family out. Mm. I'm like fully tired, being a sort of fierce neutral, I'm fully tired of being under the beck and call of these different armies. Mm. So I'm like properly rousing up the people. Yeah. And I'm like, it's time to fight. This is you're our like, time. You're like, like fashioning a guillotine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Evil, <a> revolution. <laughs> 
Okay. Um, so what what's the course of action? What's what's the plan? I uh, would like to help Fennel get her family out of the town alive, but I don't care about fighting the armies. I just want to get out of this alive and hopefully get Fennel and Tifa out alive too. Yeah. Okay. Fennel is ditching this now. Their main priority is protecting their family. Mm -hmm. So they're just concerned with like gathering all their siblings up and like taking whatever they can and just you know, getting it. Yeah. out. Getting the hell out of Dodge. Okay, so um, imagine for me that the town is like a sort of circular shape. Like it's obviously not rigid, but it's, it's it has that sort of like circular form around the tower in the center. Um, as I said to the, I can't remember if it was east or west for which one, but it's fine. To the east, the Marquisite forces are, are marching now. You can hear their their horns are more sustained. They sound a little bit like your Mao meowing, <laughs> um, but they're uh, they they're wielding their sort of orange banners and they're marching in step. They're very organised. Whereas from the west, um, the the Eerie are sort of like they have their sort of like ground forces, but there are also flying. Um, birds sort of like dropping rocks and pebbles and stuff mm -hmm. down onto the ground and um, they're trying to cause a sort of commotion and it's it's working a few of the less sort of like trained fighters are like trying to shield themselves and getting scared and running into the buildings mm -hmm. um, some of them drop some some sort of like fire pelts um, like flaming balls of liquids that are like Collapsing onto some of the thatch roofs, you're like, <laughs> um, <laughs> the craft, if not the, uh, if not the deployment, just yeah, um, by yeah. the flames. <laughs> you're sort of, you're all pelting towards Fennel's um, house tree. Yep. Yeah. So like, you can see the sort of like the march of the weasels coming out, <laughs> yeah. um, and you're like, every single herb and spice that you can think of is running past <laughs> you right now. Um, they're sort of filtering off down to the south. You have no idea if that's safe or not. Okay. Um, but as this is all happening. The uh, the fort, the uh, the tower in the centre, the keep. Um, like soldiers are appearing at the top. Like some of them looked originally like they were um, like they were just sort of craftsmen, but you can tell they know how to use their weapons as well as making them. Mm -hmm. uh, people are sort of firing bows into the air and dropping birds as far mm -hmm. as they can. Um, there are sort of like makeshift um, sort of like besieged settlements, sort of like. Uh, Barrels of molten lead are being fixed to the walls and stuff like they're preparing oh to to defend themselves. Oh um, the whole the whole town is just in panic mode right now.